Which stage am I most looking forward to on the Tour de France? Well, almost every stage looks, looks like a math-watering prospect because the way that the race is designed these days is so much less formulaic than it used to be. The race director at the moment loves to throw in a curveball and put little snakes in the grass that will just jump up at the race at any given moment. So aside from the mountains, which will determine who wins, there are a few critical days before we even get to the mountains. Uh, one is the team time trial where if you are a major contender, but you happen to have a feeble team around you, you could essentially lose the race, and it's not your fault. Um, the cobbles will be, could be critical because you can just lose time there, or you can crash like Chris Froome did last year and go home, and that'll be it. But even as early as stage two, when the race goes essentially through the English Channel on a spit of reclaimed land in northern Holland, where, believe me, because I've been there, where even when it's not windy, it's windy, the race could split into all sorts of little groups and a contender could find himself minutes down the road. And, um, and that pattern is repeated all the way through the first week before we even get to the mountains. So um, I'm going to say stage two.